Hey Booktube, it's Thea, and this is going to be my March wrap-up. March, I read a total of six things, so let's go ahead and dive right in. The first book that I have to show you here is Outlander by uh, Diana Gabaldon. This I actually read over the span of a couple months, uh, but I happened to finish it in March, so I figured I would include it. Um, this is the first book in the Outlander series. I really enjoyed this. I love the TV show, obsessed with it, obsessed with Scotland. I've been wanting to read this forever. It has been on my TBR for like four years, I want to say, maybe three. Um, but I actually met Diana and she has signed this. So um, I have been putting this off for so long because I was just so intimidated by it. Um, but my book club decided we were going to read the entire series this year. And so I had no more excuses to wait to put this off. Um, but I'm finally, I'm so glad I finally picked this up. I loved it. It's so detailed. And the way she writes is just like, it's so detailed and it takes forever to read because of the writing style but I loved it I gave it four stars um wasn't quite a five-star read because it is a little slow at times um and there are some sections that probably could have been sped up a little bit but I uh really enjoyed this first book in the series love the tv show it's very very similar to the tv show so it was kind of nice to kind of feel like I'm back in season one of Outlander, um, but I really enjoyed this and I gave it four stars. I next picked up D and Angel Volume 2. Um, I talked about this in my February wrap-up, but I wasn't really a fan of Volume 1. I wanted to pick up Volume 2 and give it a read and see if it gets it gets better. I Honestly, this volume was worse than the first one. I ended up only giving it two stars. It was all over the place. There was no consistent story. Um, there was pacing issues. There was plot issues. I honestly don't think I'm going to continue with the series because I just... I still think that the concept is really cute and the art style is very adorable. But honestly... I was confused the entire time reading this, and this is only like 100 pages. Um, I read it in one sitting, but I finished it, and I was like, wait, what happened? What did I read? Um, so I don't think I'm going to continue on with this series, um, but this was just not something that I enjoyed, and so I gave it two stars. I then picked up Revival Volume 5, Gathering of Waters, which is the next volume in the Revival series. I talked about Volume 4 in my February wrap-up as well. This series is a graphic thriller horror series that follows this remote uh, rural Wisconsin town where this phenomenon called Revival Day is happens, basically, um, their town members and family members start coming uh, come back to life one day most of them are non-violent they aren't zombies but they are undead basically this just follows kind of the town figuring out what happened and why why them um, it does have some multiple perspectives in this so you get to see kind of some different um thoughts about the what had happened in different situations one of our main characters is dana cypress who is kind of the main character for the entire series she's the police officer of this town find out in the very beginning that her sister died and has come back so it's also kind of a little bit of a murder mystery to figure out what happened with her sister why she died who killed her um, it's a great series it is pretty graphic so trigger warning um it does have some pretty graphic elements um, and very dark, but it's such a fun series. Really enjoying this series. Um, I gave this volume four stars. It is Girls with Sharp Sticks by Suzanne Young. This was my favorite read of the month. This is a um, really interesting YA dystopian sci-fi novel about our main character, Mina, who is this girl at an academy called Innovations Academy. From the public's eye, it is this academy that, you know, raises, that is raising girls to be in a perfect image of what a woman should be and what a wife should be and they're getting um, prepped uh, to go on and be a wife but things aren't as they seem and there's this dark secret going on and um, and Mina starts to discover what's really going on at this academy and we discover at the same time that the girls are discovering um, I really enjoy this it does have some a lot it does have some kind of um, social commentary on feminism and double standards with men and women and why some things are okay for men but they're not okay for women and I think it sparks the conversation about these topics um, from this novel in a great way. Um, I really enjoyed this. This is the first thing that I've read by Suzanne Young. I know she's famous for the program series um, but I'm really excited to see where the story goes. Um, I didn't know it was going to be a series when I heard about it um, which is upsetting because I read this and 
I was expecting a standalone, but I should have been prepared because the program series is like seven books long, um, and this does have quite a cliffhanger at the end, but I am super excited to see where the story goes. Um, I was really excited because I actually got to meet Suzanne, um, and she signed my book. I'm actually a teacher in my state before she became an author, and I actually discovered that she was my brother's teacher, which was kind of funny. We were talking about it, and we kind of got to connect about it and kind of uh, got to catch up about my brother and how he was doing. So it was kind of funny, and it, you realize it's a small world. Um, she, she is a local author as she was teaching, and now she writes full-time. But I um, was really impressed. I really enjoyed this book. It is her newest novel. But I'm really excited to see where the story goes. It definitely sparks some conversation on double standards and women and what it means to be a woman and feminism. So definitely check this out. I really enjoyed it, and it gave it four stars. I then picked up uh, Foolish Hearts by Emma Mill. Um, but I enjoyed this. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I gave it like three and a half stars. Um, it's just a fluffy, kind of a cute, fluffy contemporary about Claudia um, and having to be involved in her school's drama production of A Midsummer Night's Dream and how she slowly starts to um, meet a boy and possibly have feelings for him and a, 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 an enemy kind of becomes a friend and she kind of discovers who, a little bit more about herself but I enjoyed this it was cute it was fluffy I gave it three and a half stars um, this was my first Emma Mills novel I am probably gonna pick up something else by her I enjoyed this um, it was a lot of fun it was a very fast-paced read I think I read it in a couple days and I love this cover it's got like the raised letters and I am kind of obsessed but I did enjoy this and I gave it three and a half stars. And my last book for March is Raven, Daughter of Darkness Volume 1 by Marv Wolfman, who's actually the original creator of Raven. Um, I was really excited to pick this up because um, I love Raven. She's one of my favorite members of the Teen Titans and um, she's amazing in the Teen Titans run in the DC Rebirth Teen Titans um, series. But this I, it has a lot of potential. I'll give it that. There's a lot of potential. There's a lot that this, where this, a lot, there is so much growth for where this story could go, but this volume itself was just okay in my opinion. I gave it um, three stars. It does have a lot of potential. I'm interested to see where the story goes. I will continue on with this series. Um, I do really enjoy this art style as well. It is kind of a um, mix between a classic but also you know modern and I love Raven. You get to learn a little bit more about her character. It kind of, it's kind of a backstory, kind of an origin story but also kind of just her as um as raven but i'm interested to see where this story goes um but this volume as a first volume was just okay in my opinion and i gave it three stars thing that i read in march it was definitely a shorter month um than february but more successful than february february was a rough month um but overall it was much more successful month i really um, in general, I enjoyed everything I read. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys read in March. Um, if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!